Hello, James. How's it going? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. All right. And your name is Richard, correct? Yes, it's correct. My name is Richard. All right. And let me guess, you are from Brazil. Exactly. I'm from Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I've, I've gotten so many, like, now I've gotten so many uh, students from Brazil, I'm starting to pick up on the accent. <laughs> oh, do I have a strong accent? <laughs> no, you don't. You don't have a strong accent, but I have good headphones. <laughs> mm, I, I see, I see. <laughs> you know? yeah. So yeah. what about, how about you? Where are you from? Uh, well, I'm from America, but I moved to the Philippines four years ago. So I'm now living in the Philippines. Oh, that's amazing. Why did you move to Philippines? Um, it's cheaper and <laughs> um, I wanted to experience uh, a different culture. You oh, know? that's amazing. Yeah, because, you know, if, everybody knows about American culture. <laughs> you know, it's in the movies, you know, it's just, so I just, yeah, I wanted to, you know, I just wanted to experience a different culture. Um, oh, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. And are you enjoying it? Yeah, it's, it's been good so far. Um, I'm still learning their language. So it's, it's been challenging, but I've, I've improved, you know, now I can, um, survive. <laughs> ah, I know, dude. I know enough to, you know, communicate a little bit, but I can't make like a conversation like this, but oh. you know, still, still practicing. Oh, that's amazing. You know, uh, I'd like to have that, that experience because next year, God willing, I'd like to go to the United States and mm -hmm. to have the real experiences speaking in English, you know? Yeah. Uh, and Cambly is helping me a lot to, to do that. All know? right, that's good. Exactly. And mm -hmm. that's amazing. So uh, you look younger. How old are you? I'm actually, actually, guess. Well, how old do I look? How old do you think I am? I think you are maybe 25, 26 years old. Oh, wow. Actually, I'm 29. 29? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm actually 29. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm 22, you know. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. Right, uh, nice. Yeah, you know, I, I, I have never traveled abroad, but I'd like to. It will be my first experience. <laughs> oh, all right. Great. And I know you said that Hopefully you'll be able, or God willing, you'll be able to visit the United States. Um, would that be like hope next year or when? So I'm planning about it, but mm -hmm. I'd like to go next year because this year I'm studying in college. So okay. I'm gonna graduate by December. So oh, okay. next next year I'm, I am be able to I will be able to go to the United States because I will be free. <laughs> you know, right yes. now I have yes, right now I don't have time at all. You know, mm -hmm. I have to study a lot. Yeah. Uh, in college I have to study on Cambly, so mm -hmm. a lot of things to do. Yeah. You know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I know that feeling. I am exactly. yeah. I'm so glad I'm I'm done though with that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, well, what is the spoken language in Philippines? Their spoken language is Tagalog. Oh, I, I yeah, yeah. It's not a very popular language um, to like Westerners or to foreigners um, because I think this is my opinion uh, of the fact because Philippines they're known to speak you know good english you know they're able to speak english so mm -hmm. for of course when people come to visit okay they don't they don't need to learn their language because if they can speak english you know pretty good as a communicative level which is enough you know mm -hmm. why you know why why do you need to learn their you know language you know unlike 
for say like Jap Japan or Korea or China, you know, it's it's more beneficial if you at least know some of their language so it's easier to, you know, get around and uh, whatever. Yeah. But here, yeah, yeah I don't really need to. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I think the the more language you know, the the better it will be because mm -hmm. yes, because we we have a, a lot of countries to go, a lot of cultures, and yeah. it's amazing. Because of this, I I I want to learn English first because I think mm. it's the the world language. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's very useful. I mean, you know, especially yeah, yeah like you said, traveling. You know. Yeah, exactly. And you are lucky because you are a native speaker, so you already know the, yeah. <laughs> the most famous language. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but I think, because I've, I've read somewhere, it's like a research, and they said that um, people who are bilingual, so for example, like you, because you know Portuguese and English, um, they learn another language faster or quicker compared to someone that only knows one language. Oh, that's amazing. I, yeah. I have not known that. Yeah, yeah because um, in I learned this from like a, do you know TED Talks or have you heard yeah, of that? I, yeah. yeah, I love it. It's, it's yeah. very nice to improve English. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and I watched this one TED Talk about language and how it like, you know, affects the brain. And they said that the speaker said music and language are the only two things that actually uses our whole brain, you know, because of course, when we do normal things, normally we just use the right side or the left side. You know, we don't use both sides, but with music and language, we have to use both sides, the whole brain, mm -hmm. you know? And so I think that's why people that are bilingual, you know, it's why they learn quicker is because their brain's already used to that, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. You know, it's like, okay, this is nothing new for me. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know, so it's a little bit quicker. But for someone that only knows one language, it's a little bit more difficult because they have to train their brain to do that and yeah. think like that. So I was like, oh, wow, it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. Do you think uh, when you learn uh, another language, uh, you become more intelligent? Do you think it? Yeah, maybe at some point. I mean, yeah, because, you know, you gain, you know, you gain knowledge, you know, you gained new information, you know, now you can speak a language fluently, you know, that's, so yeah, like, I mean, it's not a whole lot, but yeah, it makes you a little bit more intelligent, I guess, compared to someone that doesn't know, you know, another language, you know. <laughs> you know uh, uh, that's uh, one interesting thing. Uh, once I, I read a book and uh, it, uh, it was written that uh, we had to know about uh, three or 4,000 words to be mm -hmm. fluent. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it, it, it's so funny because we don't, count the words huh? i learned <laughs> ten words. yeah exactly mm, yeah <laughs> so, yeah exactly so mm. I, I don't so uh, for example uh, as i'm talking to you now i don't know how, how many words i i use <laughs> how many words i know <laughs> yeah right yeah we don't keep track of these things <laughs> yeah, for example even in your in our own languages we mm -hmm. learn new words and sometimes we are talking yeah. to another person and oh, what does that, does that word mean? So we learn every day. Oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, because um, uh, recently I finished um, my TESOL training. So I have a TESOL certificate now. So oh, now okay. I can, yeah, I can teach wherever. <laughs> no, <laughs> um, but we learned that 
What was I going to say now? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, oh, we learned that, um, like, as Portuguese, as your native language, English as mine, you know, we, we acquire those languages. So, you know, as we grow up, you know, we just learn from what we hear, you know, what our parents taught us, you know. So, like, for example, me, I don't know everything <laughs> about the English language, you know, like, because especially like, you know, I had to kind of, that's why uh, in schools in America, we have, because they always ask, like, I get students like, why do you have English class in America when you can speak English? <laughs> well, it's because, you know, <laughs> we're learning the grammar part. Like, we're learning about now the technical part. Because, exactly. you know, yeah, you know, we, we know how to speak it, of course. But then, you know, what does this all mean? <laughs> yeah, people want to become better, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. For example, yes, we, we do have uh, Portuguese subjects. So... Mm -hmm. it, yeah. It's very good because we can learn about the grammar and how to mm -hmm. write uh, too much better, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. And yeah. but sometimes, because if we don't, if we only, uh, if, if we don't study it, if we only mm -hmm. speak with, it, with people, we use a lot of slangs and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. It's, I think it's better it's, uh, to have classes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good, you know. And they're like, oh, okay. It's like, yeah, because, of course, you know, we use two different types of grammar, you know, in our life. I'm, I'm sure it's the same in Portuguese, you know. For when we speak, of course, we use informal grammar, you know. Like, for example... In a state, you know, in English or in America, we say, instead of saying going to, we say gonna. <laughs> or, <laughs> right. you know, want to, wanna, you know, things like that. Coulda, shoulda, <laughs> you know, instead of should of, you know, we say those things when we talk, you know. And it's it, that's okay because we're speaking to friends or whoever. But of uh, course, you know, when we write, we can't say that. <laughs> yeah, we have to like yeah, going we have to, to one two, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have to be a little bit more formal. So mm -hmm. that's why, like, I'm pretty, I'm sure it's it's the same in Portuguese as well. Is it to you it, use a little bit more slang when you speak? Yes, it's the same in Portuguese, but we don't have to use slangs because in Portuguese we don't uh, we don't have a lot of contractions. Oh, how English okay. Have. You know, mm -hmm. so but we have to to choose the the best words to to write. You know? mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What about what about in 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 the meeting, for example? Do you guys use wanna gonna in the meetings? Mm. I it depends on the meeting. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I think. think, yeah, if it's, of course, you're meeting a client. I think, yeah, sometimes we do, but not a lot, you know. But more, more so they use, oh, we're going to increase our values, blah, blah, blah. It's more formal because, of course, you're in a business environment, you know. Mm -hmm. So you use kind of less. I think if it's like a like a team meeting, you know, like within the company, mm -hmm. you're just, you know, I think it's okay, you know, because everybody knows everybody, you know, so it's, it's, it's okay, you know, but of course, if you're talking to clients or you're talking to your boss or things like that, big, big meetings, I don't, they use less. It, they use a little bit, it might slip, but it's not, you know, they use a little bit more formal. Um, mm. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. Uh, 